Long, long ago, in Ireland's ancient east, lived the goddess Bowen. Bowen sought wisdom, thought by her people, to come from the salmon. She challenged the mystical powers at the well of Shagash, where the speckled salmon lived, and was drowned in the struggle, giving her life and her name to the river Boyne. Walk in her footsteps when you visit Slane on the banks of the Boyne. Slane is a very historic village. Anybody who's ever passed through it will, uh, will get that sense from the place. Um, the village, as you see it today, um, it is a very good example of an 18th century estate village. Um, Slane Castle is the big house, if you like, in the area. And much of the land in and around Slane was owned, um, some of it still is, but uh, it, certainly in the 18th century it was owned and run by the, uh, the castle. Um, many of the people in the village were workers um, on the estate or they were, they were tenant farmers. Well, the Francis Ledwich Museum is the birthplace of World War I poet Francis Ledwich and he was born there on the 19th of August 1887, the youngest, uh, second youngest child of nine children. It's a perfect example of a farm labourer's cottage because everything is as it was. Uh, his poetry is on display, his letters, we have a panel room which tells the story of his life from he was born there till his death at the Third Battle of Ypres in 1917. If ever you visit the town of Slane, you must be mad, I quite insane, not to want to stay for a while in Ireland's hidden gem. Where myths and legends do abound Like music in the bars in town An artist's quarter of renown In Ireland's hidden gem Where Patrick's torch lit the hill of slain In defiance of King Lyra's claim To rule and challenge his domain In Ireland's hidden gem where Ledwich the poet's house is found A museum now in tranquil grounds Far from Flanders cannons now An Ireland's hidden gem There's Mongolian yurts for glamping fans The green grassy slope of the Boyne expands To the sea which once brought Viking bands To Ireland's hidden gem there's restaurants, hotels, b and For a visitor's every needs A stone-built hostel with fresh eggs to please An Ireland's hidden gem If you arrive and you haven't a clue About where to eat or what to do The hub's the place with the answers for you An Ireland's hidden gem Slane is a, more than just a very historical place. Um, concerts in Slane, which started in 1981, um, kind of put Slane on the map, not just in, uh, nationally, but internationally. You can travel the world and you can mention a little village in Ireland called Slane and people will go, oh yeah, I've seen a video, maybe you two live in Slane or Red Hot Chili Peppers live in Slane. Um, I was only a kid when uh, the first concert happened, but um, memories of uh, walking through the village to see, you know, just to see all the people that gathered to see the Rolling Stones in 1982. Uh, you know, you'll, I'll never forget that as a kid. At the Craft Collective, every day a customer comes in, they meet a maker. All local people, all wonderful crafts, everything handmade by us. So we create lots of lovely pottery. We've got a few different textiles, paper craft, we've got wood turner, beautiful candles, be free clothing, children's wear. If ever you visit the town of Slane, you must be mad, I quite insane, not to want to stay for a while in Ireland's hidden gem. 
Have a visit the town of Slane You must be mad, I quite insane Not to want to stay for a while An island's hidden gem An island's hidden gem